Hey, what's up, friends? Welcome back to the channel. As always, my name is Anton, and today we're going to be doing something brand new on the channel, and this is System of a Down, and this is a big shout out to David for requesting this one, and this is Chop Suey, which obviously I know of these guys because they're huge, but I've actually never really listened to any of their stuff. Um, I think I've heard like bits and pieces, and it was a bit out there when I was kind of getting into metal, so I think I bypassed them, but... Now let's do it. And uh, before we get into it, as always, if you guys have any song requests, me and you want to vote on what artists come on the channel every single week, like we actually did with System of a, of a Down, join everybody in the Discord link down below. And if you want guaranteed song requests, you want to check out all of our full album reactions, like we're doing right now to Evanescence's Fallen, join everybody in the Patreon. Also link down below. And that's it. So let's get a System of a Down, Chop Suey. I like that, what, classical guitar? Very cool drumming. Has like a very like almost world music feel. Okay, System of Down is a very unique band. I feel that's almost like two songs in one. It's like the melodic part and then the like the the, tw the that part. And uh, honestly, this was a lot. Um, I yeah, I don't know if like I liked listening to this. This was like an interesting experience. You know what I mean? I'm like, it was so out there. It was so creative. Like like. These guys are different. And I know the singer, I think his name is Serge Tenkin, I think. And he, yeah, nobody sounds like him. But yeah, this was very interesting. Again, I, I wouldn't say like I loved it. Like I didn't, like I didn't emotionally kind of connect with it. 
but it was definitely one of the most interesting songs we've heard on the channel, like for sure. But let's see quickly what the song's about here for a second. Um, okay, so this is produced by Rick Rubin, good producer. Um, Sisa says one of his most important projects, he told Rolling Stone, the song was originally going to be called Self Righteous Suicide. And the record company rebelled. I remember wanting to go to the mat and keep the title, and the band decided let's call it Chop Suey, which I thought was kind of funny. Chop Suey is an Americanization of the Chinese quick dish Sap su Suey, or whatever, which means odds and ends mixed bits in the Cantonese dialect. The song title is a play on self, self right Chop Suey side. <laughs> that was funny. Uh that that's interesting. Yeah. That was further sort of humor they mixed up with a controversial word into a nonsensical word that create more red, radio friendly title. Wow. The song enjoyed a success climb the trust after its August 2001 release date before virtually disappearing after 9/11. The song was chorus with its congratulatory self-righteous suicide and lament I cry when angels deserve to die was considered a bit raw, too raw for listeners at the time. Wow. That's really interesting. And although the lyrics are viewed as confrontational, um, the singer is actually challenging the listener to wake up and reconsider the way that they judge and deride people who are engaged in self-destructive behaviors. The song culminates in a biblical connection to Jesus before his death on the cross, with the singer ostensibly having chosen his self-righteous suicide so that these sinners would be forgiven. That's interesting. What the artist said about the song. The song is about how when people die, they will be often regarded differently depending on the way they pass. Like if I were to die from drug overdose, everyone would say I deserved it because I have these drugs. Hence the line, angels deserve to die. Interesting. So Darren actually writes this. Darren's the guitarist, I believe. I wrote that back in the RV with that song. I didn't want to repeat myself. I didn't want to write Pluck again or Sweet Pea again. I wanted to explore something different. At the same time, I wanted to retain our style, so I put a lot of ideas together. Yeah, it's, it's pretty... Yeah, this is a pretty genius song. Like I said, it's, it's a bit out there for me, but I can see the genius in this band. Nobody's like them. I, I feel System of a Down might be the most unique band I've heard. Yeah. One of the most unique bands I've heard ever. So anyway, what other good System of a Down songs? Because I'm open to checking them again, for sure. Um... Do they have anything that's like a bit like more like like not si nah, I guess maybe actually simple like a bit more melodic like I feel like this was so like jarring it'd be nice to like kind of emotionally connect with something that's maybe a bit more simpler kind of get a feel really kind of fall in love with these guys and then do some more kind of crazy stuff so what are your favorites let me know down below and if none of the patrons choose anything I'll be coming to you guys for some song ideas and if you guys enjoyed the honesty and you uh enjoyed the video at all definitely leave a like and subscribe if you're digging all the content and lastly I want to give a big shout out to my tier three patrons so of course we got Amber, Abraham, Brianna, Gage, Kelly, Melissa, Sharon, Mark, and Russ. A shout out to all of you guys, and I'll see all of you guys again tomorrow. I love you. Peace.